Hello, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to this session. It's called Different Ways to Develop uh, Machine Learning in, in SIP. I want to introduce myself. My name is uh, Jose Antonio Torre. I'm a Chief Platform Officer and Head of Architecture in Ensemble Advising Group. Uh, I work here in, in Barcelona. So I'm very happy to, to join with you today to share our knowledge in, in the machine learning area inside the SAP world. And uh, thank you very much, uh, the SAP Inside Track Barcelona team, for inviting me today. And I hope that the, this session, uh, I hope that will like you to we start. Uh, before to, to talking about uh, the machine learning in SAP, we have to, to do a journey, a journey to the center of AI. Uh, the most important thing for us is, for example, uh, know what is artificial intelligence and also what is uh, machine learning, because there are several concepts that we have uh, to understand uh, before uh, deep in the SAP world. Uh, what is in artificial intelligence? Okay, artificial intelligence is the branch of computer science concerned with uh, building smart machines capable to perform in tasks that typically require human intelligence, okay? Uh, examples of that, we have uh, Siri, we have Alexa, and other smart assistants. No? Uh, in 2021, everybody has a smart assistant or a voice bot, and you can ask, for example, Alexa, could you play this song, please? Uh, Self-driving cars, uh, this is um, not a productive technology, but we know several projects that are involving, for example, uh, try to put uh, the cars in, in our roads mm -hmm. no? in, in five years. For example, we, we can drive uh, several six cents, uh, uh, 600 kilometers uh, sleeping uh, while the car is driving for us. No? This is uh, sci-fi now, but we, we, we know that in five, 10 years, uh, we will see. Uh, conversational bots, okay. Everybody, for example, um, has spoken with uh, with with a bot in in a web. For example, in the the flight companies or also in in, in a bank company, okay. You can text, for example, I need uh, some help for do this task or for for example uh, buying something, and you you are helped by a machine instead of uh, a human person, okay? Also, we have, uh, from several years ago, the email spam filters that uh, there are uh, programs that you can, for example, uh, train uh, to this uh, technology to filter the your spam mail uh, with uh, an initial rules, okay? And after the, 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 the model know what is a spam and what is not. And also, we are everybody users of the most common uh, streaming video streaming platform, as Netflix, for example. We, when we uh, finish to see uh, one uh, TV show, okay, uh, Netflix always recommend us uh, a new one. No? For example, um, uh, everybody that, for example, see this uh, TV show, the the um, what uh, whatever. Uh, you have to see this one because uh, there are relationships between these uh, TV, this, uh, two TV, show, uh, TV shows and, and this is uh, one uh, common use of artificial intelligence today. Uh, what human capabilities can AA replicate in 2021? Uh, basically these ones, uh, understand situations and, and context, identify objects and recognize them, analyze and solve problems, uh, lead to perform new tasks, understand uh, natural language and also recognize image. Uh, Skynet is not uh, uh, an, an scenario uh, in 2021, but we don't know if we will see in, in the next years. What are the most common technologies in, in AA? Um, we talked about uh, before about that um, AA uh, tries to mimic the human behavior, right? Then we have uh, four technologies. This is our uh, four examples of uh, a, a very deep world. Okay, uh, the first one is uh, machine learning that uh, mimics the, the the way that human uh, will learn. For example, when we are a child, uh, we uh, learn uh, uh, and we uh, each uh, iteration that we do in a process, we are able 
to do it better, okay? Uh, also, we have the NLP, the Natural Language Processing. Uh, this try to mimic the communication between humans, okay? Uh, the computer vision uh, tries to mimic the way that we see, for example, one image and we detect that uh, this is a dog or this is a cat or this is one uh, sheep or this is one object uh, based on the previously knowledge that we have in this area. No? For example, if I am a doctor and I see, for example, uh, uh, 50 times before uh, um, an image when one sick, I'm able to detect that the, in a new image there is a sick better than the, the, the first time that I did it, okay? Uh, and other example is the automated speech recognition, okay? They try to, to mimic the hearing sense, okay? Is this, this is, for example, the first technology that you have when you use Alexa or, or, or also Siri, no? Uh, then the machine learning model that is behind uh, this technology uh, only process the text and you have to translate the sound of your voice, okay? You have to recognize the different sentence that you have in uh, in a text, okay? It's a, it, it will be the, the first step in the process because the most uh, complex process in AIA uh, normally involves uh, technologies uh, of one, two, three, and also the, the four cases, okay? It's not simple that, for example, do a machine learning model that we use that use only one one kind of these four technologies. Okay, we are going we are going to focus in in machine learning. And what is machine learning? Machine learning is the branch of artificial intelligence that allows machines to learn from data without being expressly programmed to do so. What is this? If we see the, this image in the classical programming way, for example, we want to, to do an ABAP program, okay, uh, we have to, to introduce a sentence uh, that controls the flow. For example, the most typically is the, the if, then, else sentence, okay? Uh, we have to put the rules inside the program. Uh, for example, uh, if you see this, do that. Okay, we have the data, the data, the parameters of the program, enters the program, and uh, we get the response. But for example, if uh, one month uh, later we have a new scenario, okay, we have to code it. Okay, we have to code it. We have to enter to the program, the other program, and we have to code the new. And say, if you have to do this, you have to activate the code and also introduce in the, your request and uh, put the new code in the production system, okay? This is a fixed structure to develop programs uh, based on rules. Machine learning the, is a different approach, okay? We have the data, we have uh, our historic data with uh, thousands of transactions, and also we know the answers, okay? We have, for, for example, in the past, if we have a, a database with uh, data of my clients or my customers, I can see what are uh, what they did uh, with me. For example, if they buy uh, an object, or if uh, you don't do this, if you don't do this, they go to uh, to to other company, or they leave uh, my my company. So we have the data, we have the answers, and with machine learning is what we have is the rules. Uh, it doesn't matter the rules. The rules are put in a, in a black box uh, with the machine learning, okay, based um, on weights, okay? For example, uh, if you have, for example, you know, or the data uh, are showing uh, that men uh, with uh, between 30 and 40 years old, and uh, they, are, they live in Barcelona, uh, they will buy uh, this product. And why? Because uh, we saw before, okay? Uh, how does it work? This is uh, the machine learning cooking process, okay? We have to, to difference between these uh, three concepts. We have the data. The data in a, in a cooking process, it will be the, the ingredients, okay? Uh, if you have, for example, the best uh, uh, carrots or onions of the market, if you, your data is uh, top quality, 
uh, it it will be it will be uh, maybe not that it will be possible that your your model your final product it will be better than the, for example your ingredients are uh, have a, a low quality okay the first of all we have to ensure that we have data with uh, the best quality of the market okay uh, for uh, cooking uh, our receipt okay the algorithm is uh, the receipt is our book okay we have the, we can choose between different receipts for example if you want to cook chicken you can uh, do a chicken in the oven or maybe chicken grill, etc, etc, okay? You can choose uh, between different algorithms. The algorithms normally are developed by uh, research or innovation or university institutes, etc, etc. And you, the only thing that you do, for example, is um, uh, configure, okay? In, in a simple way, configure uh, the algorithm and use the data, okay, to make the model the model will be the the final product in this case it will be our pizza okay so for summarizing we have ingredients uh, we need the best quality ingredients and we have to choose the best uh, receipt the algorithm that uh, mix with my ingredients for obtain the best uh, dish in this case the best pizza of the of the world uh, there are several kinds or types of, uh, of machine learning, okay? We are going to explain the three most common, okay? The first one is the supervised learning. The goal of supervised learning is to create a function capable of predicting the value corresponding to any object after having seen a series of examples. This uh, is called the training data, okay? Uh, it works like uh, this image. Uh, for example, we start uh, with historical data, we have a CSV or image, and we know the results, okay, of this uh, of this uh, historical data is uh, what we call the labels, okay. For example, we have image of uh, if uh, one image is a dog or a cat, and we know it. Uh, we use the algorithm uh, that, as uh, we have explained before and mix the training data, the labels, and also the algorithm to uh, develop the model, okay? When we have the model, the only thing that we have to do is use a new image that we know the result, we don't have the label, and we use this image with the model to obtain a prediction, okay? Finally, the prediction has a, a, a scoring or for example, uh, I'm sure that this is a dog with a certain 75% uh, of accuracy. Okay. The types of supervising learning uh, that we can find are these uh, two ones. Uh, we have uh, the regression uh, models and also classification models. The regression models try to predict uh, numerical variables. Okay. For example, the sales uh, next year will be. Uh, one million two thousand seven hundred forty five okay we have infinite numbers between the minus infinite and the plus infinite and you are going to predict a numerical variable okay uh, in opposite we have the classification classification try to predict uh, categorical variables uh, the, the the number of the results that you are classifying is as is, is few is not is not huge at a, as a number okay for example, you try to predict is, is this a dog, yes or not, okay? It's um, an array with a, a few members. Uh, regression is used, for example, for doing forecasting, such prediction, what uh, or other scenarios that you are going to predict a, a numerical variable. And classification, uh, for example, you can find in chunk prediction. If, uh, for example, for know if a customer is going to leave uh, your company as a client or credit risk calculation. Credit risk calculation is, for example, I can, if I, I am a bank, I can do uh, or I can give you a, a credit or not based on your historical transactions uh, with my company and other uh, data, for example, uh, the contact type that you have or your age or, for example, if you have a, an, uh, a car or, or, or the product that you are going to, to acquire, you can use this data, okay, the historical data and also the data of the customer uh, for calculating if I have to concern uh, or I have to do 
uh, give you a credit or not, okay? And others, for example, using the image classification, in this case, as we talk about, uh, classify if an uh, image is a, uh, or the animal that you can see in image is a dog or a cat, okay? Uh, the second one is the unsupervised learning, okay? In this case, we don't have historical, uh, historical data. Uh, Normally, it's not doing. Uh, we have seen here that uh, we have to train the data, but it's not a, a, a training process. Okay, uh, it's an adjusting process. Okay, we have, for example, a lot of data, and we pass this data to the algorithm to develop a model that, when we use a, a new data, normally is the same data adjusted we have a, a clusterization okay in, in we, we will see this uh, ppt that is it's more clear uh, this is the supervised learning in the left side okay uh, we have historical data we know that for example this animal is a duck the second one is also a duck uh, we have a, here a rabbit it's not a duck uh, we have a sonic the hedgehog uh, we use or we develop, uh, we train a new model, and the second part of the process is uh, use a new image, and our model predicts is uh, is a duck or not duck, okay? Because our model is trained only for respond uh, this question: is this animal a duck? Yes or not? Okay. Uh, in opposite the unsupervised learning, uh, we use all of our animals, okay? Not only one like this case, okay, all of them, and the model uh, is going to, to create clusters or nodes to classify them, clustering algorithm, to classify them in, um, in a group that they have the, the best affinity, okay? In this case, for example, is uh, grouping our the first three animals uh, as a dax okay the second one um with a uh, this is an animal okay and the third one is another animal we don't know if they are uh, dogs rabbits or other, other kind of animals the model classify classify them sorry uh, in three groups okay and we after we will get the conclusions, okay? This is used, for example, uh, if you have a database of customers, you can use, for example, all of your database and you can group the, your customers for, for example, uh, customers with uh, this range of age from 30 to 40 uh, that buy, for example, uh, fridge or TVs or ETC, okay? As is used, for example, for, for clustering your database of customers in, with other users. And the third one is the performance learning. This is uh, based on uh, a reward system, okay? You have to call, for example, uh, your model, and when uh, your model, for example, or when your program do an action that uh, has a reward before, okay, uh, this system will try to do uh, more times this action because it's associated to a reward, okay? It's uh, the typical, for example, as the Pavlov dogs that we study in philosophy in when we we study at the high school. Uh, it's like, a, for example, if I give you a sugar, you will do uh, this action uh, more times than, for example, I don't give you this, this reward, okay? Uh, we can see, for example, uh, all of the use of uh, all of the use of the machine learning uh, scenarios uh, in supervised learning. Uh, we have talked about that there are two types: classification and also regression. Yeah, here we have, for example, in regression uh, prediction, no population growth prediction. Okay, in the demography scenarios. Estimating life expectancy uh, in insurance uh, for insurance companies, the market forecasting, uh, weather forecasting, advertising popularity prediction. Uh, there are numerical variables, right? And the classification uh, scenarios it tries to to classify uh, to detect no uh, categorical variables. Okay, for example, in diagnostics, if you have this uh, sick yes or not. 
uh, image classification. Is this a DAC, yes or no? Uh, in unsupervised learning, uh, we have uh, talked about, about uh, for example, a clustering uh, as uh, customer segmentation, target uh, uh, marketing, uh, recommender systems, etc. And also a dimensionality reduction. In dimensionality reduction, for example, uh, when you use um, a tool, uh, for example, as as Sapa Notice Cloud, Tableau, or something similar, you can uh, you put for, for example your data, and the system recognizes what is the chart that fits better with uh, this this data. Okay. Uh, how can uh, we develop a machine learning system? Okay, we have to, to follow uh, the AA path. Okay, uh, the, this way starts with the business understanding. The first thing that we have to do is understanding that, for example, uh, machine learning solves the, the business case because machine learning is not magic and you have to have the, the, the data that the that that the case requires to 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 solve the problem because for example we don't have the data or, or this uh, scenario cannot be solved with uh, machine learning it's better stop because uh, we don't have to 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 put more more effort no or more resources uh okay we understand the, the business case and we are we decide to continue with our path and we are going to enter in the data discovery Okay, uh, where is your data? Uh, how is classified? Uh, where are your data sources? Uh, we have to get the, 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 the data that we need to develop a machine mo learning model. And this is one of the most important parts of the, this path. And I'm sure that maybe it's the, 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 the most difficult part also, okay? Uh, after data preparation, for example, if you have uh, two databases and you have uh, a, in, in one database, uh, the customer name is uh, Jose and in the other one is Jose Antonio. OK, if you know that he, that they are the same person, you have to unify. OK, you, you have to clean the data and you have to normalize. Also, for example, you have to, to detect if you have a uh, of layers, okay. These values that, for example, in a in a Gauss uh, graphic, they are in the in the left and the right part of, of the chart. Uh, also, for example, we have to 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 clean the the nulls value, okay, uh, with um, change uh, change them, for example, with the means or with zeros. So we want to delete one row because the this row don't have the the all the data that we need for example in this case to develop one machine model it is it is when we have all the data prepared we pass to the modeling okay the modeling is the part and you choose uh, the algorithm and you try to test 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 for example the result there are uh, some metrics for detecting for example if the modeling is good or not okay there's the confusion matrix and you can for example use uh, accuracy or recalls uh, that they are metrics to evaluate if your machine learning model is good or not. If your machine learning model is good, you have to pass to the validation uh, step. Uh, when, if, for example, your model is validated, you have to think to pass to the other part of the wheel. Okay, it is the, the, the left side of the screen. You see uh, how to put in production our model. Okay. The first thing you have to do is publish. Uh, you have to to measure the, the metrics and do an analytic deployment. You have to integrate the model in your uh, application. It, you can, for example, in the area of machine learning, you have, for example, deploy the model in a server in a cloud or also in on-premise. But you also can uh, deploy a model in edge computing. Edge computing is, for example, if you use a, a, a smartphone, your model runs directly on your smartphone and this is very nice because you have uh, scenarios with low latency and this is very important for example in the case that you are typing on your keyboard in your mobile and you for example are um, receiving recommendations in real time okay for example in this case you put this model in a cloud system you will have a delay because our request has to fly to the cloud uh, 
processing inside the cloud and the cloud has to send us uh, the response, okay? And you have a delay that is not usual, it's not user friendly. Uh, so we have uh, several options to deploy the, the model and we have to choose what is the better one. Uh, we know that, for example, we can uh, integrate uh, a model in a, an application, uh, web or mobile, um, for example, in a, in a um, call uh, process, for example, if a customer calls you, for example, detecting what is the voice and what are requiring my customer to pass to my agent, uh, there are several points though where you you can deploy a machine learning and this is the most important thing of the process. For me, for example, you can have the best model of the world with a 100% accuracy, but if we can um, um, put uh, the model on a production way and use uh, but a friendly user uh, interface with our customers, we don't have anything, okay? And this one is uh, also you have to test when you have it in production and start the process as continuous improvement. Okay, uh, the machine learning the machine learning model process you have for example the hardest part is not this one is the the ML code uh, is this one like here in green color but we have a lot of tasks involved in this uh, this uh, situation. Okay, this is a normal process for developing machine learning that we have about. We have to get the data, uh, clean the data. This is that engineer process, training the data, validation the data. When you have the model, you have to put the model into a production system and you can consume them. Okay, uh, EA and SAP. In SAP, we have uh, four uh, points where we can develop machine learning uh, technologies. Uh, we we are going to talk about the database, the cloud, also the analytics, and the platform. In SAP HANA, we can put a, we can develop machine learning in two sides: in the server side, uh, for example, uh, develop directly over the the HANA database, and also using uh, HANA as a client. Okay, in the server side, we have two options: uh, we can use embedded libraries or framework integrations. In the case of embedded libraries, we have two, uh, the, the PAL and the APL. The PAL has about uh, 90 ML algorithms that you can use by scientific data, directly on your data in HANA. Uh, this is our the typical clustering, classification, relation, etc. And you have to code uh, SQL, okay, not Python or other language. Um, we have also the, the APL library. Uh, the difference with the, the previous one is this is uh, uh, more easy, okay, it's easier. Uh, you don't need, for example, a scientific data profile because you can use one function that detects, uh, that, uh, detects what is the best algorithm uh, for your case, okay? Uh, basically, when you develop uh, with these embedded libraries, you use uh, SQL scripts, uh, skills, sorry, and you deploy, uh, when you train your model in the database, you deploy the results to another, uh, to a HANA table where it stores the weights of the, of the results, okay? And you can uh, use uh, a store procedure to get these uh, weights, this, uh, the result of the training process, and combine uh, these weights with uh, your new data and get uh, directly over the database, one result. And you can uh, create, for example, an OData service uh, involved, this store procedure, and you can use, for example, this uh, technology for uh, get insights uh, in a theory application and also in, in Sapalitis Cloud, etc. etc. The framework integration is you, for example, if you won't use in a store procedure or other scripts in, in Subhana database, you can use two uh, programming languages, okay, or two frameworks. The first one is TensorFlow, and we have EML, and also we have the integration with with App, okay. Uh, this is a resume of uh, we have talked about, for example, the PAL for users that who have a HANA license and on-premise or cloud. The skill set is uh, read and write SQL procedures and the data level is a million. Okay. 
Uh, the second one is HANA with error integration that you, for example, yeah, you, your code is our code, okay? You have to have a data science level five. And the EML, uh, you read and write a Python script because you are working with a TensorFlow library developed by Google, okay? This is more or less the difference. You can uh, build or do one machine learning model over SAP HANA database using SQL, using R, or using Python. Okay, depends on your skill. This is uh, the, the 90 more or less algorithms that you have in the PIL library. Okay, um, for example, classification, rogations, the most, uh, the kind of his neighbor, this is the, the most common in the classification analysis. Rogation, uh, multiple or linear regression models, uh, cluster analysis, the K means, etc. Et okay, and we can use also HANA as a client in the way that you, for example, you are coding a local uh, or in, in another cloud and you want to process your, you want to, to create your training process on the SIP HANA database, you can use it, okay? This is in opposite than the, the other one is you are coding in your environment, you are coding in your client, uh, Visual Studio Code, for example, or you are coding in local with other kind of technologies. And uh, instead of running the training process that normally is a heavy process that you can need a, a server with a high power, you can send this uh, process to the HANA database and you can train in that, okay? There are two connects, okay, or two connectors, one in Python and one in R. This is uh, the schema. Uh, the first one is, for example, the PIL libraries and the APL library and also the EML. And in the client's client side, uh, using, for example, your client client programs to code uh, R, Python, SQL, etc., etc., and you send, for example, in this case, the data or the, the data to the HANA database to to do this uh, training training process. Okay. Uh, in BTP, in business technology platform, we have two scenarios. Okay. We have, uh, for example, the the do it yourself. You can use Cloud Foundry, and you can. Uh, with a Docker or other technologies, you can containerize a, a machine learning application and you do the, that uh, on the inference process and also the training. And the other one is uh, using AI as a service, okay? In SAP BTP, actually we have a, a CIS, um, CIS uh, process or CIS services that you, for example, pay as you go. If you use, for example, one, one service that normally is consumed by a, a HTTP request uh, through an API. You send, for example, the parameters or your data and you get a response. You don't have to, to use uh, power. You don't have to try train anything. It is easy, easy. okay? Uh, in SAP Analytics Cloud, uh, we have uh, two scenarios of uh, auto ML. Auto ML is, is similar and uh, then you, for example, you don't have to code, you don't have to need a data scientist kits, okay? Because uh, there are a technology that do this uh, this travel for you, okay? If you go to, to, to SAP Analytics Cloud, there is an option to create a predictive scenario and you can, for example, develop a, a scenario with classification, relation, and time series, okay? For example, you have a model, okay? Uh, model in, in SAP Analytics Cloud that you have, for example, 5,000 uh, records of transactions, and you want to try in a model, you select what columns do you want to use and what is your predictor, okay? The, the, the column number, the column D is my predictor, okay? And you start the process, the, the, the training processes happens in the, in the SAP Analytics Cloud uh, server, and uh, this process uh, gives you a model. And when you want to analyze or when, when you to use want to use uh, this uh, model, you map you are the mapping process uh, from the your a new model data. Okay, we have the one model for two new data, and uh, for example, I have new data in another model. Uh, I use uh, the the previous scenario that uh, I I have created before. I map, for example, the in my new model, the column or the attribute or the feature of the model is this one with this one with this one with this one. You are the, the mapping and get the predictor in real time in a in a in a dashboard. Okay, this is a very simple scenario that I, you can, for example, you can try uh, in in an easy way. 
And the last one is the SAP Data Intelligence. This is a very huge platform. We are not going to talk about uh, SAP, SAP Data Intelligence, but uh, it manages uh, all of the process that we have talked about before, okay? From the data ingestion, the data catalog, the data metadata, etc., etc., okay? All of the pipelines with your ETLs, uh, you can, for example, integrate this information with a external or distributed data system as, for example, Hadoop, uh, S3 of AWS, you can use uh, several data source, you can um, manage all the process, and finally, you can create your models. You can also uh, um, uh, manage all the, the models with this version. So this is like similar an uh, MLOps uh, platform, and this is very nice because you can, uh, can manage all the process end to end. Finally, uh, we want to, to, to tell you that uh, artificial intelligence here, but we don't have to be worried about because uh, actually, for example, uh, artificial intelligence is, is like a child of five years. But in 10, 15 years, uh, the artificial intelligence software is going to, to dominate or think uh, for us in the most common industries. And, and we are excited to, to be part of this process that should, we are sure that it will change everything. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope that. Uh, this session is interesting for you. Is if you have any doubt, you can contact me, and I'm very glad to to talk uh, these topics uh, with all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jose. It was a great presentation. It's very very interesting. Yes, thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you, bye. Vale. Estamos fuera ya. Vale.